Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Prismata. We're going to jump back in the queue here, and see who we can find. In the meantime, let's watch Agamemnon vs. Wonderboat. A Tatsu mirror. Oh, never mind. Synthsea. We played this person two games ago, I think. That was, yeah, that was the game where I tried to go for Lucina and got crushed by Vengeance. Okay, what about this game? A lot of, like, small units here, right? Nothing really game-defining, it feels like. Um, it does seem, though, like... Absorb Denial is a theme. Um, with Thermite, Rager, and uh, Shredder, in a way. Um, Nevo is also kind of cool against Shredder. Because it's a bigger freeze target. Um, and Flame Animus makes Rager somewhat more appealing, so you don't have to have two red. It's a little bit like less of an investment to get the Rager. It's, well, obviously it still costs seven and a red, but you don't have to find a way to spend a second red and a blue or whatever. And uh, Steel Forge is also a nice way to like uh, get you into the double blue zone uh, without compelling you to spend a lot on it. There's a lot of cheap blue here, and of course there's also the Steel Forge click. So, I don't know. So far I've described what all the units in the set are. Do I have a plan? Uh, eh. I wouldn't call it a plan. Um, building... Hmm, really? I would have thought you cut for flame animus here, right? Right? Why not? I'm looking at Flame Animus Steel Forge, believe it or not, into like Thermite Steel Splitter to be able to click Thermite on the Flame Animus on my very first attack. And that lets me get a drone along with it as well. It seems kind of cool. And then I like, I don't know, I'll probably click my Steel Forge on the Flame Animus on the, on the first turn I have red. Maybe? It's a little bit fuzzy. Maybe it shouldn't be a Steel Forge. Maybe it should be a Conduit, because I don't want to have to spend either zero or two blue. I kind of want to spend one, right? So something like this? Opponent will get, I think, a Flame Animus, so I don't need to worry about absorbing next turn. I can just get G5D or something. Oh, 4 5D, even better. It's very cheap, right? Five. I could get two drones? That's pretty cool. Look at this. I saw units here in every color, and I'm buying every color. That's how you play the game. <laughs> Just only buy colors that are in the advanced set, and then you win. Yeah. Wouldn't that be nice? I think two drums is good to go with this, right? What am I getting the turn after, though? I would have 13 bucks... This is interesting. Are they going to get Splitter Thermite or what? So say I do this. They they don't want a wall anymore. It's obvious they shouldn't wall. Um, so they get a Splitter, and together with that, I suppose Thermite's pretty cool. Since it makes my walls worse. I have Rhinos, though. I can get a Rhino and, like, make it... Like... So they can't easily... I don't know. Maybe that's not so amazing. I don't 
really want a Rhino because that's attacking for a lot. Maybe just like Tarsier, Splitter, Engie? The Splitter is kind of a bummer when I can't deny Absorb with it, but I guess I could like click it and buy Razor Wall later or something. I don't know, this seems okay. I have Force Fields as well, which is nice. Ooh, Shredder's interesting. That's something you can really use to get some bigger Absorb Denial, right? I can... They have to click this Shredder. That's a very odd position to be in. I don't know. I mean, I guess I'll... I'll get the Rhino. And if they're clicking the Shredder, I feel like they probably won't be able to get any Absorb. I'm not sure where I'm going with all this. I'm just thinking, like, I'll probably Razor next turn is the thing. And that's what this Rhino will do. I could split her and then just kill the Shredder, I guess. Next turn. Ah, but they're clicking the Shredder. So a Splitter attacks for four and means one wall still wouldn't be enough for them to absorb. But they're not getting absorbed anyway, so maybe that's fine. They just have to stop me from reaching. I don't know. I think I just do something like this and make it awkward for them to decide whether to defend or not. Well, I guess they have to just not defend, right? And then I just... So they build a wall, and then I have to choose. Do I kill Shredder, or do I kill... Ah, okay. Fine. Well, this way I just kill the Shredder, clearly. Yeah, maybe the Splitter should have been a Shredder, but I don't know. Opponents are not really in a position to deny me Absorb as well as they might be. I feel like... Right? Because they have, like, they want to spend some of this attack. I don't know. Whereas I don't really have to do anything to deny Absorb. I can just keep killing the Shredders that they're building and accumulate some more attack. I think this is fine. You should unclick one of those two attackers and click your Thermite Core. You'd much rather gain two Pixies than kill an NG. I don't know which one you should unclick, you know, that's sort of up to you. Probably the Rhino. Whoa. Two Shredders. Well, good thing I have all these Gauss Charges to make my attack come out to a multiple of four every turn, huh? So, like, they're denying me Absorb, but to do it, they're having to not click Rhinos that they would rather click. So, I don't know. My Rhinos are developing into Defenders, and theirs are not. So, I'm coming up on four attack here, right? This is eight. That seems pretty cool. One, two, three, four, eight. Yes. Or I could just attack for four, right? Turn the Rhino into a Tarsier and, some, and, and get NGs instead of these. But I'm getting the ability to kill a Shredder for like a pretty low investment. And it takes a lot of pressure off of me. It also makes it harder for them to click their Shredders. So I guess I'm on board with this. Shh. 
sure. A Rager, fine. I guess I didn't have to attack for this much. I could have chosen to attack for like seven and then tried to build a Rager while killing a Splitter. That might have been more good. Might have, uh... Or, or, or click Thermite, or, or any other. There's a lot of ways. I didn't have to get all these, but I liked killing one of their attackers, you know? Maybe a little short-sighted. I could still do it. I could hold the Rhino, click a Shredder, buy a Rager, I guess. If there's some reason to do that, I could try it. It seems like there probably will be a reason, right? Like, I mean, I get the Rager, right, suppose. Then what do I have next turn? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can click Shredder, buy another Rager. Is opponent going to try to attack me next turn? Because I'm thinking about wanting to click this fission, obviously, right? Yeah, I think it's good to kill one Shredder and spend this on something else. So maybe I bought too many Gauss Charges, should have just Thermited or something. But now I have two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven. Yeah, this seems okay. I think opponent is a little bit married to their thermites. But okay, I mean, this is something. Yeah, I don't dislike opponent's approach. Actually, I don't really want to invest so much in blue that in, in thermite cores that I can replicate it, but it's cool. Seven permanent attack? Eight? No, let's actually count. Three, seven, four, seven, eight. Yes. Opponent has four, six, seven. But they have thermites. Which I do not. And that's sort of like having two more attack because they're denying my wall's value. Opponent also has more drones. And maybe, arguably, more tech? The Steel Forge sort of cancels with the Flame Animus. I have a lot of green, though. Maybe we can go for a big Nevo sometime soon. That seems good, doesn't it? Like, next turn, get a big old Nevo. That would be nice if I could do it. Yeah, if opponent's gonna continue to do this... I think I need to, like, say what you're doing is too greedy. And hit him with, like, two or three Nevos. But I don't feel winning. <laughs> Oh, 
I don't know, are they just gonna make these bad by not having walls? And then say, I have enough engineers? But they get to keep three engines alive, they have a fourth. No, that they have to lose the, yeah. One engine and a rhino, probably. I don't know, this seems like sort of threatening. If you assume that I'm not clicking the shredder, you could click your rhino. Maybe you should click it anyway. It's like opponent loses at least two, no, they, at least one attack this way. Here they still lose at least one. So this wall defends, right? Two more Nevos keeps them frozen, but they just have more attack than I do. Well, not by a... Mm, yeah, they kind of do. Maybe just build an attacker? Pretty sure you might as well just click all the pixies here, but of course, you're always welcome to hold them. My problem is that like I can't spend the tech I have. I'm down on drones and I'm down on attack. Right? Like it's sort of a lot of problems all rolled up into one. dead. Alright, well that's another loss. Someone who uh, last time cost me a lot of rating points. Yep. Well. I mean, I said that this game was about absorb denial, but I didn't really do that much of it. Like, opponent just got shredders and that kind of like baited me in a way? I don't know. I was denying absorb by clicking shredders, but it would have been better to A, just accept that you're not going to get Absorb and buy a Shredder instead of a Splitter. I don't know, I, I was sort of worried that like if I had a Shredder, opponent would somehow take advantage of it to like deny me Absorb and, you know, to, to, to like give me zero Absorb while still attacking for six or seven, right? Click my Shredder, click their Thermite, or click my Shredder, build a Rager, or whatever. Um... But then when presented with the opportunity, I did not really do that. I just sort of killed Shredders. And... The reason that killing Shredder 
early is usually good is because it denies absorb, right? You're you're spending four damage to kill four health worth of stuff instead of to kill two health worth of stuff and have two absorbed on wall. Um, however, with all of the tools here, like Rager and Thermite, um, whether you buy Shredder or not, you're getting no absorb. So you might as well take the attacker with more health, right? Compared to Splitter. Um, there's the downside that eventually opponent may be able to like click it and buy Rager or something, but that's pretty like, I don't know, it seems hard to, do, to get up to 7 attack and still be doing all that while getting no absorb. I don't know, maybe I just needed to commit to the second blue at some point and like get another Thermite, because the one I got I never used, it felt very bad. Maybe my Rager was, well okay, so I could have gotten fewer Gauss charges and then gotten fewer Rager, like gotten Thermite click instead of Rager, that would have been better I think. And then I wouldn't have needed this Rhino either. It could have been a Tars here. Um, and just get one, you know, get a, yeah. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Well, get no Gauss charges. Just kill the Shredder. I was just so excited to kill both of them that I built some kind of crummy stuff. Hmm. But I didn't really have enough blue to continue building Thermites, and... I was just building worse soak. I don't know. Um, yeah, especially here. Wall was... Eh. It seems good because it means like, yeah, I'm over defending, you know, I, I'm defending by their more than they're attacking for, but since I'm not going to get absorbed anyway, the wall is sort of like phantom value and I should just at least get a shredder, which is like, say, okay, you can have a breach if you want it. You know, that's giving me zero absorb, but that's what I was getting anyway. And then, like, the Shredder can actually attack. It's like a wall with more health that attacks. Like, oh my god, what else could you ask for, right? So that was a big mistake. I, I, I often forget that and, like, kind of go autopilot when I'm in the in these. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I do it right. And, like, when absorb denial is happening, I don't over defend by one. But often I just forget. I'm like, oh, let's get a wall. I don't want to get breached, but that was clearly a mistake. I don't know. I also, like, thought still that Shredder wasn't all that great because of these, like, nightmares of getting Shredder clicked and then still getting Blood Rager or something, but that's life. You know, opponent has some pretty flexible attack. They can organize things like that, whether or not I get Shredder, I think. So I should have just gotten it. You know, maybe, maybe that wasn't the problem. Maybe the problem was I just, like, built too few drones and got that conduit instead of a steel forge. Like, I was thinking steel forge, but I guess I just didn't really have in mind the idea of building a lot of thermites. I thought that, like, blood ragers would, would suddenly come into play instead. And then when opponent built these shredders, I was like, oh, I'll just kill those instead. And I built more attack, which was not enough, which was so much I couldn't just thermite or couldn't just rager. I don't know. Just didn't have the right ideas here. I still don't like have a clear idea of what run went wrong. I guess the conduit kind of sucked. Not building shredders when an, I built other crappy blue stuff kind of also a problem. The Nevos like clearly didn't win, but it was sort of my like my desperate last hope. I was clearly behind, so I'm perfectly fine with trying that. Anything that happens after this point in the game is like not worth analyzing. Oh well, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.